Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Okay. Anne, you spent quite a bit of time in Australia recently, so why don't you talk about that? I really liked living in Australia. I was an international student and I studied education at the University of Sydney. And living in Sydney was fantastic. Bekwase, I could go to the beach anytime I wanted, and there was a great nightlife in Sydney. There are lots of great clubs. And people were very, very friendly and easygoing, and I met a lot of international people in living Sydney. Um, hum. How long were you there? I was there for almost a year. Oh, okay. And I traveled a little bit in Australia. I went up the East Coast, up to Fraser Island, which is a World Heritage Site. And I saw dingo running along the beach and sharks in the water. We climbed cliffs and went through a rainforest and went camping, and then we went up to the, which is a bit north. And the further north you go in Australia, the hotter it gets. So we were able to go swimming in the ocean, and I went diving for the first time, but it was a little bit risky because I didn't have a diving license. So I went on an introductory dive and I saw a giant clam that had a really purple spongy inside that I was able to touch and then the clam closed up really quickly. So, did you, did you lose your finger? Almost. Almost. Ah, you're lucky. Um, it's funny, you go in the water and you worry about sharks, but not clams. Exactly. Will you be going back to Australia soon? I'd like to go and live there for at least another year. Probably I'll go back to Sydney or maybe I'll go down to Melbourne because it's a really interesting cultural city. They have a lot of museums and parks. Hi, dear. Do you know what the important day is today? I don't know. Please think it over. Oh, I see. Come on, dear. I know you mustn't forget it. It's Saturday, a great weekend. Or, you really let me down. Don't be angry with me. I have a bad memory. No, you haven't. You just don't care about me. You're an indifferent husband. What day is it on Earth? It's an anniversary of our weeding. Tell me something about your Valentine's Day. Okay. On that day, boys usually give roses to the sweethearts and girls give them chocolate to return. So romantic. Young people must have a lot of fun. Yeah. That is the holiday as hot, isn't it? Hello, Kith, can you and Alice come around this evening? We prefer your coming. I think we would be able to make it. What time shall we come? About seven o'clock. Shall we bring anything? Some wine? No, not really. Just bring yourselves. We would like to your presence. Happy anniversary, honey. I thought you had forgotten. After the trouble I got into last year, no way. Thank you, honey. It means a lot to me. Well, I'm afraid I must be going now. I have no idea it was so late. Stay for dinner with us. I'm afraid I can't. I have a dinner party at 7 tonight. You see, I am going to England the day after tomorrow. Well, I won't keep you then. It was very nice of you to come to see me. It has been a pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you again for coming.
Is everything ready for the big family barbecue tomorrow? Yep. The steaks and chicken are marinated and I also bought hamburger buns. We should also cook a couple dozen hot dogs and kebabs. Yeah, good idea. We can put some lawn furniture outside next to the grill. I also set up the tent outside so we can hide from the sun if it gets too hot. Great. I asked Grace to bring cups and serviettes as she is also bringing two big coolers for the beers. This is gonna be a great barbecue. Is there a lot of oil and coal in your country? There is some, but my country is not amongst the leading producers. The oil and coal deposits are in the north of my country. Your country is a big oil producer, isn't it? Yes, it is. My country is famous for having that natural resources. We also have a lot of natural gas. We have some too. Do you have a lot of coal? No coal has been discovered in my country, but there may be undiscovered deposits. We don't have many metal deposits. There are a few in my country. We have deposit of gold, but they are very small. When I traveled around your country, I bought some jewelry made from gold from your country. The jewelry told me that there are few gold mines in your country. The gold was found in mountain steams. That's right. A few people go panning for gold in rivers. You have many trees in your country. That's another natural resources. It's a natural resources that we hardly use. Government policy is to conserve those forests. I see. That's probably a good idea. Too many forests are being destroyed. Is your country's environment being damaged by the oil industry? We have some inspections, but it is very hard to avoid pollution when extracting oil. There has been some damage, but it is under control. Who's calling, please? This is John. What is it, John? I wonder if I can use your bike. How's your business? Everything seems to be getting worse. I don't know what to do with it. Things are tough all over. You should never give up. But how can I prevent a deficit? I think you should make a thorough market investigation now. Okay. Okay. I'll do my best. I always consider you are such a guy who never gives up. I know life is not all roses, and I believe I will pull this through. Yeah, you can make it. I believe you ordered the Grand Slam breakfast. Oh, good. You know... I am looking at my plate and I ordered scrambled eggs, not fried. Oh, I just noticed that I accidentally brought you your friend's breakfast. I can just trade with him, thank you. And pancakes for you, sir. I am sorry, but I think I ordered waffles. I am sorry that I misheard you. Just please take my pancakes to trade for waffles. While I am waiting, I will eat my bacon and eggs. I will get straight back to you with your waffles. I would appreciate that. Well, here is your breakfast. Thanks so much. Miss, I believe I ordered my eggs scrambled, and these are fried. Sorry, your friend over there ordered fried eggs. And I gave you his by mistake. Oh yeah. Here, I will just trade with him. Here are your pancakes, madam. But I ordered waffles. Oh, I am so sorry. That's okay. 
I will eat my eggs and bacon, and you can take my pancakes back. Good, sir. I will take care of that right away. Thank you so much. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Why? Well, I came to know a girl three weeks ago and we have so much in common. So? So I think I may fall in love with her. You are attracted to her. That sounds great. But how do you know that it is a crush or it's real love? Then what's the difference between having a crush and falling in love? That's a big question. Well, if you are in love, maybe you'll take every opportunity to talk to her or telephone her for no reason at all. That's what I did. And you think about her all the time? Yes. And maybe you suddenly have new interests. I mean you suddenly begin to do things you used to avoid, i.e. You used to sleep in every morning, but because she jogs every morning, then you begin to like jogging. That's it. She likes dogs so much now, and I begin to love dogs. Oh, congratulations. Sounds like you've found your soulmate. Thanks. But I know falling in love is one thing, while staying in love is another. Yeah, that's right. If you find this person is more and more important to you and you can totally trust her, then you can stay in love. Yeah, falling in love is so good. While staying in love is even better. Hey. What's up? Hi, John. I haven't seen you for ages. Yeah. I've been out of town. So how have you been? Great. Work is really busy now, but it's fun. Hi, Jane. You look great. You too. Have you lost some weight? Yes. I took off four kilos. I am glad you notice it. Not some crazy diet fat, I hope. No, no. I just changed my eating habits. I eat a balanced meal. And I eat less than before. Good for you. Keep it up. Do you like playing games? I like playing computer games, but I'm not really into board games. How about individual games like the Rubik's Cube or Solitaire? The Rubik's Cube is so difficult to solve that I think it should be banned. If I taught you how to do it, I'm sure you could solve it. How did you figure out how to slove the Rubik's Cube? I didn't really have to figure it out. I just followed the instructions. I had no idea there were a set of instructions. I thought everyone who could solve it were all geniuses. Hints are really important when you're solving puzzles. If you give me some hints about playing that PS2 game, I'll show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. It's a deal. Do you remember, years ago? When everybody at the New Year's party had yo-yos? Yeah, that was a strange party. Can you still do any of those yo-yo tricks? I don't know. I haven't tried yo-yo since that party. I could never figure out how to use my yo-yo. If you don't start when you're young, it's hard to get the hang of it. Let's get started with this game then. Okay. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.